Hello everyone and welcome back to Windwalker's Flying Circus. Um, I decided to create this video because of the uh, challenge from uh, Battle Pass Season 2 and I noticed both on the forums, on Reddit and everywhere else that a lot of people are struggling with this one particular challenge. Um, I completed it and I figured out it's actually not too difficult to do. Of course I'm talking about the Citius Altius Fortius challenge where you need to destroy a single enemy vehicle with uh, a specified weapon type. Now artillery, rockets, torpedo, bomb and ATGM in general are not a very big problem. However, the last one, depth charge, that one is a pain in the butt to say at least and Gaijin really really likes to make us jump through the hoops uh, in order to get the progress in the battle pass but um, this particular challenge was a nightmare for a lot of people and um, actually it wasn't that difficult to do uh, and so I wouldn't really call this video a tutorial but a simple demonstration how it can be done very quickly and easily for that you will need a ship capable of obviously carrying depth charges and even though you can choose a variety of vehicle I would recommend that you go for the lowest possible battle rating in rank 3 now rank 3 is a requirement for this challenge to be completed you can't do it with rank 2 vehicles even though there are some ships that can bring depth charges uh, in, in all nations but I picked Russians uh, someone actually told me that it would be much simpler to do with the uh, PR183 at 3.3 but I wouldn't really agree because this ship is pretty big and uh, I decided to try out and actually succeeded from, well, in second attempt, actually. In the first one I died, I messed up. But in the second attempt, I did it very easily with the PR-123K. Now, this little tiny boat, um, it's technically a, a, a torpedo boat with four depth charges. You wouldn't say not a lot, but they have quite a yield. So if you execute it right, it's not going to be a problem. And that's what I'm going to demonstrate in the following video. So without any further ado, let's get on to it. Okay, now I will demonstrate what I had in mind. We will slow this down so I can explain the process. You have to be aware that this challenge cannot be done um, on an open map. So you need a map like this one, Fuego Islands, that you can hide behind various um, obstacles, islands, and so on. So, uh, if you are um, trying to depth charge someone, my recommendation would be this little boat because it's very fast, very nimble, maneuverable, and um, it can go above 100 kilometers per hour when it's fully upgraded. Now, your target, you want it to be a fairly large vessel like this PC-451, I mean, when I say large, in comparison to your size. So, it means that he's not faster than you, nor he is more maneuverable. So you are gonna approach at full speed as you can see this is a uh, full speed in the meantime I'm just nibbling him with this uh, machine gun I mean obviously I can't really do any serious damage to him but pay close attention to what I'm doing I'm using the island in between us as cover to approach now this is arcade so he can technically still see me but there is nothing he can do uh, because of that island and all I gotta do is to get close so approach at full speed, practically a ramming speed, and um, actually ramming is a pretty good option because you can't really inflict any major damage to yourself, but this is how you're gonna do it. You're gonna engage like this, um, you're gonna hit him amidship uh, with your bow, and then slide your ship in the direction where he is going in order to line up for the depth charge. Okay, so this is half the speed. Now, as you can see, I avoided majority of his shots and there we go I literally pushed him deploying the charges and now I'm just gonna move away at this point it's completely irrelevant whether you're gonna die or not because you deployed your depth charges you're gonna get your kill and that's pretty much all you need and in the meantime as you can see I'm just inflicting minimal damage to him in order to ensure that the depth charge is gonna blow him up like this so, because some ships have, well, a reinforced hull, and it's not so easy to kill him with a depth charge. So, if you can damage him, but not in a critical way, 
to ensure the kill with the depth charge. In that case, your job is done and your challenge is complete. Okay, that would pretty much sum it up. So, like I said, um, this boat can do it, a lot of other boats can do it, um, but this is probably the best weapon of choice. It's fairly low battle rating, pretty much, even if you don't have it, it's pretty accessible to everyone. Naval battles are not too complex, as you, uh, a lot of people might think, and it's a requirement to finish the challenge. So, I would strongly recommend that you do it, because it's really easy, even though a lot of people struggled and in the open maps they just went uh, straight and trying to, you know, outgun and out, uh, outplay the opponent. This is by far the best way to do it. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. Um, and good luck with the Battle Pass progression. See you next time. Peace.